Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how did I change water on my roof tank. I've been doing this for almost five years now with the same method. Um, let me show you guys how. So I've been using this salt for ever since I changed water. It's called Rip Crystal. It's made by Inset Ocean. You can get this pretty much at any fish store. In this case, I got it from Amazon. It was like $60 for a five gallon bucket. You don't want to over add salt in there. You can just add little by little and um, make sure you mix it up well before you use your tool to uh, check your salinity level. In my SK here, I got the measuring tool from Instant Ocean also. And I usually keep my water at the, somewhere around 24 to 26 salinity. This depends on your tank. If you have a lot of coral or you have a lot of fish, if you have a lot of coral, I would recommend you stay on the little high side of the salinity. So after mixing water, I usually let my water sit for one night with the heater running. So when I change water, um, my water temperature will be the same with the water in the tank. In that case, it doesn't shock your coral or your fish. One other thing that I'd like to do also is before I change water in my tank like about an hour or two before, I usually feed all my fish and coral. So if there is any leftover in the water, it will get taken out when I change my water as well. I will try not to overfeed everything in here because if I feed them too much, the phosphate in my tank gonna go up like crazy, start building up like algae and stuff like that. Um, because my tank is a simple system, there's no skimmer, there's no filter shocks. I only have like, um, uh, what do you call it, live rock in the back of my nano tank for the filtration and the return pump and the eater. That's pretty much all that my system is running right now. Out of this core in here are my favorites so far. My Aiken, my Dendro, my Frox Barn. You can see in the back right there, there's a bird net that doesn't look good. <laughs> you could also say it's dying, but um, I've been having it for six months now, and he just he just be him like that, and he seems fine, still alive. Because I got that bird nest from my friends and um, it's a gift to me. I I didn't plan like to keep hard coral in my tank or SPS because I already know that my tank is not designed for any SPS. I'll be happy if I could keep like you know those LPS like Aiken or Frog Smart or Dendro or even Candy Cane in my tank. Because you know that like simple tank um, is mostly for like soft coral. It's not designed to keep any SPS or hot coral in here. Don't forget to feed your cleaning crew. Poor little snail here. In the back of the tank right there, I have a numerous chromis. He is mostly staying in the back because he's new to the tank. He's still shy. I got one pair. And luckily, none of them is fighting with the clawfish because that's the only thing that I'm worried about when I get them. I also got my green pallies and kenja tree. Those are usually feet with whatever floating in water by catching them with their hands or their tentacles. My blue spot red mushroom is also looking good and big right now. If you can see in the back right there, it has like a little baby that it just got. You can see it right in the middle of the screen right there. That's a baby. Look like everybody is happy right now because they just fed. Also, my posing Sandia is also look happy. Here you guys can see it. The hand is like is working to catch all the uh, uh, food in the water. They look happy. My rose anemone, my cloudfish, my coral mist, everybody is happy. It's time to change the water.
after putting new water in, your tank gonna look a little cloudy. But don't worry, after it's running for like a couple hours, your tank gonna be cleared up again.